Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency, mission number 18, the Atmospheric Probe. Today we are taking some data from our previous mission, the Grand Tour, and we are checking out the atmosphere of the Green Planet. So, for mission number 18, Atmospheric Probe, our objectives are to put a survey satellite into orbit around green, point the dish antenna towards the planet, put the Atmospheric Probe into orbit around green, re-enter the Atmospheric Probe, upload scientific data to the orbiting satellite, and our budget is $100 million? with a max time of 20 minutes, 0 seconds. So this is a scientific mission to test the atmosphere of planet Green. A probe will be dropped into the atmosphere. During its descent, it will test the chemical properties and pressure of the atmosphere and transmit its findings back to an orbiting satellite. The orbiting satellite which is this, by the way, must be positioned with its dish antenna facing the planet surface so that it can receive data from the probe. Just like so. During descent, the probe antenna must be kept pointing skyward at all times to maintain a data connection with the satellite. This mission will be deemed a success when the probe has transmitted all of its data Tip, the most fuel-efficient route to green is via Loon. So, for the gold mission on this one, we must complete the mission in $25 million or less, and a time of 12 minutes or less. I think we're going to be, well, I don't know, it might be tight to launch two rockets on $25 million, but I think we can do it here. Let's see, let's go to our Vehicles tab. So, we must build a new rocket. Now, where are our payloads? Our payloads are right here. We have a survey satellite, which is definitely going to be a small stage. I think we can just use like the standard fairing on that one. Ooh, but. Ah, oh, this one's actually slightly smaller than the medium stage. Hmm. So let's 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 try something here. I'm gonna start with a long march, and then I'm gonna put a heavy tug module on that, and then we'll come over here and we'll put our atmospheric probe payload. And then using something we've done in the past um, past missions, we will use an N1. Can I use the Saturn payload fairing? Does it matter? Hmm. Let's try the Saturn payload fairing on this. And then what happens when we put a tug module? Yes! Okay. Okay. I think we got this. And our survey satellite. Ooh. 49% though. This might be too heavy for a small stage launch. The standard fairing? No, okay, so it is the long fairing. And it's 45%. But what happens when we put boosters? Ooh. Okay, so 64% on this rocket. Hmm. So that's $9.9 .9 million to launch this. I think we got it. Yeah, we got this one. So I will go over the build one last time. We have the long march first stage. We have a heavy tug module. We have our first payload, the atmospheric probe. Then we have the Saturn V payload fairing. Then we have a regular tug module. And then our second payload, the survey satellite, followed by a long fairing. 
and not a station part, we have the Long March Boosters. And I'm going to give it a go. I think we got this. In fact, I'm going to skip ahead and launch it about four seconds. And we got both thrusters go. And we're, we're getting up to speed slowly, so... So let's start pulsing, because I need to conserve fuel. Because it's going to be very important that we can pulse our engines and we can kind of try to, you know, raise the nose of this thing. Because I feel like the nose is going to be a little heavy once we start to roll. Like right now, once we lose our boosters, we're actually going to start to dip. Yeah. Not, not as bad as I thought, but yes, we are. So we're dipping, so I'm going to be pulsing here, and I'm going to pulse, and while I'm pulsing, I will move my finger to the left on the pad so that each time I pulse, I kind of tip the nose up a little bit. And we're almost getting close to the uh, cutoff point here, so once I get perfectly level here, yes, I can just kind of... I can just keep going, and I'm gonna separate. Stage seven. Stop. Stop. Right here. Perfect. Okay. So we have launched this monstrosity into space. Now, the correct way t that they want us to take is to go to Loon first. So we will do that because the last thing I want to do is like run out of fuel on this big launch here so boom so I'm just gonna kind of you know do my thing here and I'm gonna start the rotation and I'll slowly rotate it around and that's perfect and I want to make sure that I keep enough fuel here to kind of pull myself out of exit velocity on the moon and then put myself right back in I'm gonna try a quick exit on this one see how we can do that. I'm going to hit back a couple times just to get myself to the next stage of um, speed. Ooh, the green planet has shown up. So I could change direction now, but that might use, that's going to use a lot of fuel if I do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go to the uh, moon. And then from the moon, I will head to green. Now, let's peek. Okay, so we're going perfectly aligned into the moon. I want to start slowing myself down pretty soon. Like, I don't need to quite yet, but I don't want to mess this up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slow myself down here, and I'm just gonna pulse it down. I want to be able to see just a little teeny tiny bit of um, black underneath the bar, which I can, and then boom, hit the down arrow here, the uh, rear reverse thrusters, and then we can line ourselves up with green like so, and I will reset. And I'm, do I, yeah, it's a long distance. So I'm going to hit the down arrow a couple more times, and I'm going to speed myself back up to travel velocity. And I think we're good, because we are going to use our main thrusters to slow ourselves down in about 500, well, 550 units, to be precise here. We wouldn't want to exaggerate too much now. Um, but I think we're good. Now question is which fairing separates first I want to say it's going to be the standard fairing for the small tug module but I don't know yeah I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna wait right now because if I separate the fairing and then all of a sudden I've got two rockets flying towards green at breakneck speeds well you know astronomically possible speeds we've got we're flying through space so who knows how fast we're going we're going at travel velocity whatever that is but I don't want to separate the fairing and make a mess of things so I'll just be patient because patience is a virtue whether I have it or not um, one thing I am gonna do though is realign myself 
realign myself. Come on. No, stop. Okay, that, that was a lot more fuel than it should have been. But that's okay, because once I get on green, which now I'm perfectly on target for green, once I get to, like, what, 50? I should probably start slowing down now. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to use my main thrusters here, and I'm going to slow me down almost all the way. All right, and we're in orbit. So, let's settle this. Which fairing breaks first? Ah, fairing set. so that was right. So let's rotate the rocket right now. And we want it to be pointing towards the planet's surface. So that's like, like what, like right here? Something like this? Let's go a little bit further, just like that. Okay, so we'll break, Fairing and set. we will slow this one down just a little teeny tiny bit more, and we will launch the satellite, and that was close. Oh, I wasn't really thinking of that, was I? Okay, so whatever, that's fine. We will spin ourselves around, and we will slow ourselves down that much more. All right. And I need to turn. Come on. Turn, please. Launch. And turn. Okay. So, I need to keep this facing upright. Like, perfectly upright. And it's going good so far. Oop, come on. This thing heats up fast, too. We don't want it to heat up, because, you know, if I burned up my research thingy right now. Yes, thingy is in fact a technical term. I've heard it used in technical settings. Mainly when I use it, but still, that, that's not the point. So we need to keep our thingy pointed skyward so we can upload. Now it's like, it's like the cloud, it's like YouTube. We're trying to upload our video of the atmosphere of green to YouTube, you know? See how many hits we can get. Maybe it'll go viral. Oop, oop, come on. Now, with this red and green, it's really hard to tell, like, which way I'm going here. Not, not which way, but, like, if I'm going to burn up or not. Oop, 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 come on. Keep going, keep turning. There we are. So, we are just about done now. We just have a... We need, we need five bars. Uh, I should have. I should have gone with Verizon. Mission ah! But it doesn't matter. We have... The data upload complete. We have gotten a gold award in 7 minutes and 29 seconds at a total cost of $9.9 .9 million. That was better than it could have been. Woo. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this has been the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.